Alright guys, this is um, a uh, quick video on um, how to, different ways on how to possibly fix your, um, your problem when your computer just restarts on its own and it, without warning, like you're in the middle of something and it just restarts. So this has happened to me like a ton of times and my first thought when this was happening is that thought that, oh, it was it was my power supply I needed a new power supply and I ended up getting a new power supply and I still had this problem so I also spent money on something I didn't even need but so what I'm gonna like say is you got to kind of overlook your your build here so what my problem was, which I didn't even think of at like this whole time, was my RAM. It just it seems like a, mo a weird thing to restart your computer, but it does. And um, if you have a bad RAM stick, this could happen. This could be your problem. And I, I was I, when I was having this problem, I was looking on YouTube, and everyone was saying, "No, it's your your CPU or." CPU is overheating and I didn't think my CPU was overheating. I have a fairly good fan on it, so I don't I didn't think it was that. But my problem was was the RAM and I just removed like I originally had four here and I had to get rid of one. And ever since I got rid of that one RAM stick, I haven't had the problem since now. I just happened to get lucky and pick the right one that was bad. So, basically, if you have, obviously, more than two, um, you take one out and, you know, do what you normally do. Play, play video games or whatever on your computer. And if it does it again, then that means that RAM stick is okay. So, you place it back in, you try another one, and if it, you still don't have the same, you just gotta keep trying them, and if that's not the case, then there's other things you also can overlook. Normally, you get a blue screen when your CPU is overheating, I believe, so it's probably not CPU overheating, but it's definitely something to look at as like a last resort. Now, as far as power supply goes, I mean, this could happen, but if it was the power supply, it's really hard to check, so that's why you should go through the, you know, the things you can check first. Another possibility is um, down here is one of your uh, reset buttons, which I think one is it's right here. My reset button's right here. And maybe you have a bad reset button and potentially it could you know reset your computer now this isn't what I'm thinking would be the problem but it's also something to check now normally when your computer restarts without warning I just like basically say your computer was um you were playing it or whatever and out of nowhere just out of nowhere it just it just does this just seems like it turns off and it just like your monitor still boot like on and shit like that and then it just it kind of just restarts and that's what my my problem was the RAM and you just I don't know like um what you want to do is just before you buy anything new, like before, just you like just scan your computer, see what's going on inside of it, check your RAM, and also it is a possibility that one of the your motherboard RAM banks is out of whack. So what you want to also do is kind of just switch them around and uh, put them in different slots and see how it works from there. So this was my problem 
on you know your computer restarting without warning and all that nice jazz now I haven't like like I said I was going on YouTube and I couldn't find anything so I hope maybe this helps people this gives more of a I don't know uh, a thought it gives more more of a thought with uh, on how to how to go about this because all, like all the videos I kept seeing was you know your CPU is overheating or when I asked someone it's like oh that's a power supply problem and common sense you would think oh power supply it's restarting that has something to do with my power so it would be power supply but that may not be the case so what you want to do is check your RAM that like I can't express it enough you want to check your RAM and make sure everything is working before you do anything because I just decided out of nowhere this do something with like do something with the RAM and turns out as I later found in like a, a forum somewhere and um, they also said to maybe overlook your RAM and I was like maybe that's why that worked so that's just all you have to do just you know unhook it and interchange it pull one out obviously if you only have one RAM stick then you either you might I don't know, you don't normally have one RAM stick but you might have to get a new one but normally on average you have two so just take out one obviously you're not gonna be have you don't you won't have the extra I don't know four gigabytes of RAM or whatever but if it's bad then it doesn't really matter so, so yeah so just pull them out make sure they're all working and they're not bad and I hope this fixes your guys problem and it fixed mine so best of luck to you